Hello everybody and welcome back to Storytime. We thought we'd record a few more stories for you this summer term so you can enjoy them at home. And the first one is Jack and the Beanstalk. Now this version is by Nick Sharrett and Stephen Tucker and it's a story we've been learning about in nursery. Jack and his mum were really poor and things had got so bad that now they had to sell their cow, which made Jack very sad. He had got halfway to market when a man said, Stop, my boy! I'll swap your cow for magic beans. They'll bring you lots of joy. The lad replied, You've got a deal. Real magic beans. Yippee! I just can't wait to see Mum's face. Won't she be pleased with me? Mum wasn't pleased. You silly boy, she snapped and shook her head. The beans went on the compost heap and Jack was sent to bed. Next day he woke up early, went outside and got a fright. Those magic beans had turned into a beanstalk overnight. The massive plant reached to the sky, said Jack. I'd love to know what's up the top. And up he climbed. Mum called, mind how you go. He scrambled up from leaf to leaf till high upon a cloud. He saw a great big castle with a sign, no kids allowed. But Jack was brave. He tiptoed in and couldn't believe his eyes, for everything around him was the most gigantic signs. All at once he heard a cluck, cluck. It came from somewhere near. Inside a basket sat a hen. She said, Hello, my dear. The hen said, I am a special bird. I lay gold eggs, I do. And Jack, you don't remember me. But I remember you. For once upon a time, my child, when you were just knee high, a giant stole me from your house and made your poor mum cry. He also took a golden harp and lots of money too, said Jack. Well, I shall take you back. And the hen cried, Good for you! As Jack picked up the hen, the harp and coins, he heard great footsteps boom. The giant had returned. A voice like thunder filled the room. Fee, fi, fo, fum, the giant roared. I reckon I smell child. He spied Jack in his hiding place. And boy, did he go wild. But Jack was nimble. Jack was quick. And out the door he flew. The giant bellowed, Just you wait till I catch up with you. As Jack scurried down the beanstalk, the hen squawked anxiously. If that giant gets his hands on us, he'll eat us for his tea. Eventually, Jack reached the ground. He called, Mum, bring me axe. He chopped right through the beanstalk and it took a lot of wax. The great plant tumbled down to earth. The giant shouted, Hey! And plunged into the compost heap. He's still stuck there today. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. Tune in next time for another, another story. Okay, bye for now.